Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Okay, some NHL news uh, breaking. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, meanwhile, it is Tuesday, and all of our guests today, including Dwayne Veneau, standing by, brought to you by the Bayside Oceanfront Resort. Bayside excited to announce the launch of their new West Coast-themed seafood menu available in the Bayside Restaurant. The Bayside also has an expanded <laughs> daily breakfast menu, including an array of new eggs. Benny options. Benny, Benny. love it. Call now to book your reservation and mention Donnie and Dolly for 10% off your nightly room rate. Also, be sure to grab a Donnie and Dolly hat or T-shirt now on sale at the Bayside. Uh, it's been rumored for uh, several days now. New York Rangers have hired Peter Laviolette as their uh, as their new head coach. Recycling the old veteran guys. Yeah, he always has a good start with teams. He's been th- uh, through a lot of them. Nashville, Washington, Philadelphia. Is he going to push him over the top? Won a cup with Carolina. Let's let's get away from hockey for a second and talk about uh, football. As I mentioned, the Lions uh, play their home opener Saturday against Edmonton. Four o'clock start at BC Place. LL Cool J is going to be there. They have a street party going on on Friday as well, along with uh, Saturday. Uh, here to talk about it, Dwayne Vinou, BC Lions president. Dwayne, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Very, very well, and thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Is your group ready for Saturday or for Friday and uh, Saturday? Yeah, we're ready all week. So, you know, we sort of kicked it off yesterday. We're, tr- we're trying to have the week, you know, more than just the game on, on Saturday and, and make a big deal about our home opener as much as we can. So yesterday, we um, it was officially BC Lions Day, and, and our mayor of Vancouver, you know, uh, did the proclamation, so it was a good way to kick it off. Are you a fan of the 4 o'clock kickoffs, Dwayne? Absolutely. Um, you know, a, a big part of, uh, of the strategy, I guess you will, ever since Amar bought the team, is how do we engage the entire province of British Columbia? And, and by those four o'clock starts really help us because, uh, you know, people from the island or the, or the interior can, can basically come to the game and go home all in one day. And so it's, it's something that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it works. And, and so far, so good because our, our sales are going pretty good for the home opener. Yeah, Rick and I are both uh, parents. I think it's better for kids as well. They can get, get home and get to bed earlier if they're extremely young. Absolutely. And, you know, um, yeah, you're not getting home at midnight, if you will. And that, that's an, obviously another positive. And, and then, you know, it's, it's also a, it's great for TV audience because um, four o'clock starts for us is, you know, 7 p.m. East and it's right in that Eastern prime time zone. So it also helps. It helps just so many, many different factors. Uh, Dwayne, give us an update on ticket sales for uh, the opener. Uh, the lower bowl looks like sold out. Uh, you're moving up to the upper bowl. Yeah. So last week, um, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, we announced that we were opening up the upper bowl. We were getting very close sort of in that Tuesday range that it was about a thousand tickets left. And we opened up on Wednesday and um, we sold off. We're almost clean, if you will, on the on the lower bowl. And we opened up the upper and, and um, we're starting to sell pretty good in there. And, uh, you know, um, we're not quite over 30 yet, but we're going to get there very shortly. Our daily sales are very, very strong. And um, we're trying to beat sort of where we were last year. And I, I, our, our final attendance last year was around 34,000. So we're really pushing for, to get over that number. Dwayne, really good buzz about the Lions right now in the community. Um, since uh, Amar Doman took over as uh, the new owner of the BC Lions, what is it like working for him? infectious you know he's just he, ever since uh he took over this team he's just he, he just has this uh sense of passion and it's very infectious and everything he wants to do everything for the right reasons and and it's just very it's very infectious we want to all do very well um the, the game plan is easy let's engage the province of british columbia let's let's embrace minor football amateur football let's make it easy for for people to come to games or easy as possible for people to come to games let's be affordable let's uh just all aspects of the game are just making the bc lions bc's team and and so far um you know i think we're going in the right direction what do you think Dwayne was going to say rick he's you asked him what it's like to work for his (laughs) boss he's going to say he loves it well hey he might have said something else i don't know it was a good question in my eyes (laughs) 
I said infectious. There That's you go. It. Perfect. That's it. You Perfect. It. Yeah. Uh, why LL Cool J, Dwayne? You know, LL is a, a very. Uh, I'm super pumped about. It. I I actually like the genre of music. It's it's mm. it's something that I enjoy. Um, but LL's a superstar in many 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 facets. He's a superstar. He's been a, in movies. He's got television shows. You know, he's a. Uh, a Grammy Award-winning ar- uh, musical artist, like he's just across the map. He appeals to many, many different people for many different reasons, and and so far, people are very excited about it and excited to see him on Saturday. Yeah, he's really comfortable as a host a- a- as well. Somebody who can control audience, Awards not just with yeah. his music, but just uh, just speaking and working a microphone. Uh, our producer Ryan Henderson wanted me to ask you this. Um, there were lineup issues. Getting into the BC Place with the Whitecaps uh, recently, you mentioned 30, 35,000. What do you anticipate uh, Saturday for people who might have those concerns? Um, so I haven't heard about the lineup issues, but, um, you know, I guess the, the biggest thing, you know, I, I, I was with the CFL prior to, to coming to the Lions and, and, and managing Grey Cups is, was sort of my uh, area of expertise. And I always tell people come early, you know, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. if, if you know it's going to be a sold out show or it's going to be a very high attended event, get to the event as early as possible, get yourself settled and, and that'll alleviate, alleviate a lot of problems. But we have the perfect environment for it. You know, the game doesn't kick off until, until four o'clock. You have LL playing at three. We have the Trues playing at two o'clock outside the stadium, which is a very, very good artist in its own right, in, mm-hmm. in their own right. You know, they played Grey Cup in 2021 um, as the part of the pregame tailgate party in Hamilton. And the, the, the doors, the, you know, the event starts at 11. So I would just recommend everyone get there early, take it, uh, take advantage of everything that we have to offer. And um, the panel is going to be there. You know, the TSN panel yep. is coming in specialty for this. So just come early, enjoy it. Don't stress yourself out and, and be a part of all the uh, all the fun and excitement. And, and when you've got the buses coming from the island and from the interior, have I got that right? Absolutely. Yeah, we 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 had such great success uh, with that at the playoff game, as as you guys are well aware. And um, we decided to keep it going, and we actually created a, a, a season seat package for the four o'clock games. We have six four o'clock games, mm-hmm. and nice. so we have a special we have a special season seat pack season seat holder package just for that purpose. And uh, yeah, that'll be in full force. And we're also um, having it open for individual game tickets for this for this game as well. So the, the bus program is in full effect. And Friday night, I, mm-hmm. I, I want to talk about Friday before we run out of time. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's never uh, I in my time, I've never seen it done before where a team does an event the night before to just get ready for the next day. And so we're doing that, and and we have we'll have musical artists on. Uh, you know, playing, and we'll we're, it's going to run from four till eight thirty, basically at the backyard party um, leading up to the next day. But what's sort of cool as well is the the TSN panels coming. They're going to be uh, you know doing the panel live at Terry Fox Plaza and the, at the backyard party, and then the Saskatchewan and Winnipeg are playing. It'll be on the big screen as well. So just creating lots of uh, anticipation for the next day, which we're all very excited about. Okay, just so you know, Dwayne, you've mentioned the TSN panel uh, twice. That's it. We have a cap on mentioning TSN <laughs> on this show. Just, oh, just, just, just so, so you sorry. know. No, no, no sorry, problem. Sorry, no, well, no problem at all. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're excited. We're just excited. It's it, you know they don't travel very often, right? So it's, yeah, it's, that's right. It's, uh, it, you know, it's really showing how big this game is and how that's all it is. Hey, yeah, my uh, Dwayne, well, no, 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 don't worry about it. Just kidding. Hey, Dwayne, one more thing, and this is something that uh, we tend to be a little quirky on this show. But I'm wondering what happened, uh, and I noticed this at Whitecap games, and I believe your first, uh, your only preseason game, it won't really come into account. Uh, during the regular season opener, the home opener, because you're opening up the upper bowl. What's what's with the sales? Are, are they have they gone away? I've noticed they they haven't been there recently at BC. Park. Yeah, so yeah, so we we you know, we have good good intentions of never putting the sales up with the BC Lions. Mm-hmm. We you know we we want to be in a situation every game, not just the home opener, where we're pushing to open up the upper bowl. And so we just believe that um, we're going to try hard every single game to to get that lower bowl sell, sold out as quick as we possibly can to to then push into the upper every game of this this season that we possibly can. So we we are a believer that we don't want the sales up because okay. that means that we have strong sale we have strong 
sales, no pun intended. Yeah. And, and, and we're, that means that we're opening up the Upper Bowl as often as we possibly can. All right, Dwayne. Thanks so much. Uh, good luck uh, this weekend. Lions and Elks, 4 o'clock on, on Saturday, and a whole bunch of fun before that. Th- thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. You bet it.